As you said, we have uh, 39 candidates, including two former presidents, one former premier, or three th former presidents and one uh, a premier as well, the number of the high profile, including the former ministers also. And the election, as you know, they already delayed almost uh, one and a half year. It was uh, outstanding uh, political issues in Somalia because the outgoing president, uh, Muhammad Abdullah Farmajo, he wasn't to, to process the election. He was to just want to, to stay in office, uh, to, in, uh, to intend his uh, term in office outside the constitutional framework. And nonetheless, after the, the arms struggle and then political crisis, after crisis, later on, the Somalia's political uh, actors, including the regional member states, accepted to, uh, you know, the, to hand over the bow for the electoral process to the premier. And the premier did a good job. Finally, we were able to have uh, two houses. And now we are going to elect the, 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 the president of the Federal Republic of Somalia. Yes, the number is quite very high because in Somalia we don't have the political parties. So since we don't have the political parties, and every Somali is above uh, 40 years old, uh, with a fixed mind, have a right to contest to the, that seat. So that, in that way, the, the number is very high. But nonetheless, the, we are waiting for the first round. The short, short list will be only around four, and that four will contest it to be uh, the next president. So we don't have uh, much problem about that one. The problem was not held the election. So since now we are in the mid of the, the end of the process, they have to think it will be fine. That's where we are hoping. Okay, so the vote is, like you said, almost one and a half years behind schedule. Do you see this election helping resolve some of the issues affecting the country, including the protracted power wrangles among Somali's top leadership? Actually, the, the delay was the, the, due to the, the former president, or the, as I said, the ongoing president. He didn't want to actually to organize the election. The problem was that he came through to the election, but he wanted to dismantle the constitution, to dismantle the parliament, to dismantle the democratic process in order to stay the in office uh, through the outlaw, uh, out, outlaw the, the system. But at the end, as I said, the crisis after crisis, and then actually obstacles were created by the former president, Muhammad Abdullah Farmajo. Nonetheless, later on, uh, in, still in Somalia, we are facing a certain uh, difficulty because our constitution not yet finished it. And then again, the, our security uh, sector is very weak. Our justice system is there is also the very weak. There is no constitutional uh, court. Since if there is a, any political disagreement, can increase into the level of uh, a military confrontation because there is no uh, peaceful means since we don't have the constitutional court. By the way, we are hoping to have a new president with the capacity to bring it together, open the dialogue, uh, try to minimize the political dispute, and then increase the level of political agreement in order to solve out the, the out, uh, outstanding issues, including the constitutional reform, security reform, justice reform, financial reform, and many, many things. And then to, you know, the, to, uh, to strengthen the regional uh, member states. Uh, because, as you know, the Somali, we adapted uh, the federal system, although the federal is very new to Somali people. But according to our constitution, Somalia is a federal nation, and then our federal country, and then we have to strengthen in the, the federal institutions in order to re reduce the, the political conflict which actually exists for the last five years. So that's what we are hoping.